ടോർഷൻ പെൻഡുലം ദ എയിം ഓഫ് അവർ എക്സ്പെരിമെൻറ്റ് ഈസ് ടു ഡിറ്റർമിൻ ദ റെജിഡിറ്റി മോഡുലേസ് ഓഫ് ദ മെറ്റീരിയൽ ഓഫ് എ ഗിവൺ വയർ യൂസിങ് ദ ടോർഷൻ പെൻഡുലം അപ്പാരറ്റസ് ദി ടോർഷൻ പെൻഡുലം അപ്പാരറ്റസ് കൺസിസ് ഓഫ് എ ഹെവി സർക്കുലർ ഡിസ്ക് വിച്ച് ഈസ് സസ്പെൻഡ് ബൈ മീൻസ് ഓഫ് എ തിൻ യൂണിഫോം വയർ ദ ടോപ്പ് എൻഡ് ഓഫ് ദി വയർ ഈസ് പാസ് ത്രൂ എ ചക്ക് എ and the lower end is attached to another chuck b which is connected to a heavy circular disc the distance between the two chucks that is a and b can be varied and that length is called the length of the torsion pendulum apparatus or the torsion pendulum now we have the principle or theory the rigidity modulus of the material of the wire can be calculated using the formula n is equal to 8 pi i by r raised to 4 l by t square where i the moment of inertia of the circular disc and for a circular disc the moment of inertia can be calculated using the formula m r square by 2 where capital r is the radius of the circular disc and capital m is the mass of the disc then again in the formula n is equal to 8 pi i by r raised to 4 small r is the radius of the torsion wire and l is the torsion pendulum and t is the time period of oscillations then in our procedure initially we are adjusting the length of the wire the torsion pendulum wire by moving the chuck a by moving the chuck a we can vary the length initially we are taking lengths like 40 cm 45 cm 50 cm etc then the circular disc is twisted slightly and then it is released then the disc is performing torsional oscillations and we are taking or we are counting the time period of oscillations for 10 or 20 oscillations from that we can find the period of oscillations then using the formula l by t square we are determining the quantity l by t square the reason is that in the given formula n is equal to 8 pi i by r is to 4 l by t square for a given torsion pendulum the quantity 8 pi i by r is r is to 4 is a constant so we can observe that if the length changes the corresponding period changes so that l by t square is a constant so we are determining the value of l by t square then we can repeat the experiment by moving the chuck a the distance l is varied and for another value of distance say 50 cm we are finding the value of t and then t square then l by t square is determined so the experiment is uh, repeated for different values of l and the corresponding t and t square value is calculated and then we are calculating the mean value of l by t square then substituting this mean l by t square in the formula we can determine the rigidity modulus by the equation 8 pi i by r is to 4 l by t square now coming to the observation tableau column initially for the trial number 1 we are arranging a certain length say 50 cm then we are finding the time for 20 oscillations or 10 oscillations first time we determine the time the just given is just repeated once again for the same length it is repeated once again so we obtain the time two times then we are finding the value of mean time then the period t is calculated uh, the time for 20 oscillations divided by 20 so that is capital t then l by t square is determined so the experiment is repeated for another length say 55 cm say 60 cm 65 cm and so on then mean l by t square is determined the radius of the wire is determined with the help of a screw gauge we are obtaining the diameter and from the diameter value we can determine the radius again to find the moment of inertia of the disc uh, the mass m of uh, m of the disc is measured with the help of a balance then the circumference of the disc which is equal to 2 pi r is measured with the help of a string then the radius r is determined then we can determine the moment of inertia i which is equal to m r square by 2 so that we can determine the rigidity modulus by the formula 8 pi i by r is to 4 l by t square so this is our torsion pendulum apparatus 
Now this is the heavy circular disc which is suspended by means of the uniform wire. Now between two chucks, now this is the chuck A and this should be the chuck B. This chuck A is movable. So initially I adjusted the distance between the two chucks that is from the top of the chuck B to the bottom of the chuck A. Now it is arranged for a distance of say 50 centimeter that we can vary. So initially I adjusted it for a length of 50 centimeter. Now before performing twist the circular disc slightly to one side and then we are releasing it. Then we can observe that the circular disc is performing oscillations. The circular disc is performing oscillations. Now you can keep a pointer here. Now you can see the disc is performing torsional oscillations. Now a red mark is put there. It is moving on either side. So one oscillation means it is coming to one side then going to the other side then coming back. We count, uh, we count it as one oscillation. So we want to find the time for 10 oscillations allow it to oscillate few times then only we are starting. So next time when it is coming to the my side I will start I am getting ready ok started it is going to the other side now coming back here the one oscillation again it is moving 2 3 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, you can see it takes 57 seconds for 10 oscillations. So, we obtain 57 seconds for 10 oscillations. So, we can enter that value 57 in our tabular column. Now, for the same length that is 50 centimeter, we are repeating it once again. Again, we are finding the time for 10 oscillations and find the time and that time is entered in the second column. So, that means for the same length the experiment is repeated two times. Now moving this particular chuck A, uh, we can change the length say let it be 55 centimeter. We are finding the value of time period of oscillations or period of uh, time for 10 oscillations and then the experiment is repeated for different lengths 60, 65, 70, 75 etcetera. With the help of a balance we can determine the mass of this heavy circular disc. So, this mass, uh, disc is having a mass of about 1.3 kilogram. Then using a screw gauge, we can determine the diameter of this particular wire. It is determined with the help of a screw gauge. Then we are getting the radius r. Then to find the radius of this circular disc, uh, we are finding the circumference with the help of a string. The circumference is determined that is c that is 2 pi r. Now we are getting the 2 pi r value, I am getting the 2 pi r value nearly uh, 74 centimeter here, uh, 74 centimeter from that we can determine the radius of the circular disc. Here we are having a set of sample readings to find L by t square. So initially we set the length 50 centimeter. Now the time period of oscillation we already obtained 56 second. The experiment is repeated for the same length then we are getting 56 again. So, the mean is 56 that is the time for 10 oscillations. So, we are getting 56 by 10 that is 5.6 then we are calculating the value of L by T square L is 50 centimeter that is 0.5 meter. So, 0.5 divided by 5.6 the square that is equal to 1.594 into 10 to the power of 2. Now, the experiment is repeated for another length say 55 centimeter. 
then the time period of oscillation slightly increases to a value of say 59. When it is repeated 61 we obtained then mean and period t is calculated L by t square again is calculated 1.52. Now, it is repeated for length 60, 65, 70 and 75. In each case we are finding the time two times taking the mean then period and L by t square is calculated. So, we repeated 6 times and the mean value of L by t square we obtain 1.510 into 10 to the power of 2. Now, with the help of a screw gauge uh, to we find the least count etcetera, then we are finding the diameter the pitch scale reading is always 0 here and the head scale reading is mark or observed and corrected value is observed then the total is calculated and we obtain the mean diameter as 0 0.9033 that much millimeter. So, 0 0.9033 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meter and then the radius is equal to 0 0.4517 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meter. Then for the disc we determine the mass with the help of a balance we obtain 1.33 kilogram that is the mass of the disc. The circumference of the disc that is 2 pi r we obtain 46.5 centimeter from that we determine the radius by the circumference divided by 2 pi that we obtain 7.404 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meter. Then moment of finish is calculated m r square by 2 we obtain 3.653 into 10 to the power of minus 3. Now, substituting this value of i and L by t square we obtain we can determine the rigidity modulus we calculated using the formula 8 pi i by r raise to 4 into L by t square and we obtain a value that is 3.233 into 10 to the power of 10 Newton meter raised to minus 2 and that is our result the rigidity modulus of the material of the wire that is 3.3. .3. Now, the material is brass. So, our result almost agrees with the result or the experimental value agrees with the standard value that is 3.3 .3 into 10 to the power of 10 Newton meter raised to minus 2.